welcome to today's video. Today we'll be doing a lash tutorial. I usually don't do tutorials on my channel, but my channel is geared towards motherhood. So lately I've been doing these lashes. I feel like it's a mom hack because I can wear my lashes up to two weeks. So first I'm gonna share with you guys me applying lashes to somebody else. Um, I'm showing you the technique I do. And then the other half of the video, I will show you guys how I apply them to myself. You'll be using an eyelash curler if you have straight lashes, some tweezers, glue, eyelashes, I use B&Q, um, and mascara wand, some cotton ovals, and a mirror. Okay, so first off, I want to say when you are grabbing eyelashes, you want to grab from the base of the lash where all of the eyelashes come together. And this is probably a different technique than what you've seen on different tutorials. I like to use the glue from the base of my glue wand and put that on the base of my lashes. If you notice when I'm applying my glue, I actually rub up a little bit towards the lashes themselves. When I apply the first cluster, I like to apply it in the outer eye. Whenever I'm going towards the inner lashes, um, I can tell if I need another cluster or not, if I'm comfortable with closing my eyes or if they're bothering me. I apply my glue to the base of the lashes and move up maybe like one millimeter just so I'm covering a little bit more. Also when you do apply that first outer lash, you want to make sure it's not on the very edge of your eyelid. Um, it will get very uncomfortable, it, it will most likely stick to the bottom lashes and that'll start being uncomfortable as well if you're getting like a tackiness to your glue and then your glue will start rubbing off on the lower lashes. All right, so I'm finding it really hard to describe everything in a certain amount of time before like the next clip shows. But I hope you guys are noticing that I am not applying these lashes on the waterline. You want to keep your waterline very clear. So the goal is to get as close as you can to the base of your lash line without getting anything on your waterline. Um, if you want to be safe, especially for like the first time users, you could go ahead and like leave a gap of like maybe one or two millimeters and I promise you your lashes will still look great. The reason of not applying the lashes to your waterline is that you want to let your eyes breathe and allow them to. If not, you can get some pretty nasty infections or just unwanted extra eye gunk. As you can see here, my mom just got over a sty and she was super excited to get some lashes on. But if you do have a sty, please let it heal completely. Applying lashes could definitely prolong the process of the sty being there. So leave me a comment down below letting me know if you do wear lashes or if you're trying to watch this video to learn how to wear them. I hope this video helps you maybe learn a new technique or to um, extend the wear of your lashes. I just want this to help you guys. I feel like this, like I said before, I feel like this is my mom hack. Um, seriously not having to put mascara on for like two weeks plus is a big win for me because I'm, I was just a mascara girl. So these are how the lashes turned out on my mom. She looks great. If you like these lashes, please let her know down below. I will definitely share all of the comments with her. All right guys, this is like future me talking. I've already applied my lashes, but I wanted to show you guys um, what you will need to apply these to yourself. You might need a little bit different products or more products whenever you're doing this for the first time. So you will obviously need a lash glue. This is the one I use. Um, these are the lashes that I'm wearing now. Um, and so far, these are my favorite. The longest I've worn these is two and a half weeks. You need a spoolie or a mascara wand. Um, a disposable one is better. A clean one is necessary, just so you can brush out and kind of fan your lashes as you want. You need some tweezers. These are the ones I like. Now, you don't necessarily need the one with the curve. Um, honestly, I'll say in the beginning, my favorite ones were just like regular tweezers that I'd use to like pluck my eyebrows. Those I was used to, my hand could handle and grip things with them much better than these. So um, just use whatever you're used to. If your face is not clean, then you will be using some makeup remover or just something to clean your face, clean your eyes, take the oils off your eyelashes. Um, and by clean, I mean like, like clean, clean, like you just wash your face. Even if you haven't worn makeup all day and you're just now applying your lashes, you still must wash your face, at least with this. Those are the items you'll need. Also, if you're new at applying lashes, you may want to use an eyelash curler just so you can kind of curl your eyes. Oops. So you can kind of curl your eyelashes more up so you get more of a view. I'll try to like prop up my mirror so it's like this, like at an angle so I can see more or putting it on a table and looking down and then lifting my eyes and I can see much better as long as there's great light. So All right, jumping right into it, I'm still applying my glue the same way I always do. 
and I still like to start off with the outer lashes first. As I said before, I like to apply the outer lashes first. So as I'm going towards the inner part of my eye, I can tell if I'm gonna need an extra lash or not. I use four to five clusters depending on how wide they are. Um, now these B&Q ones, I always use five. I'm trying to show you guys as much as I can in as much detail as I can. Um, as you can see, I slowly put them on. I'm not doing them super fast. I'm taking my time. And when I'm done applying my lashes, I usually have some glue still on my tweezers. So I like to take an alcohol swab and just clean those off really well before pressing them or bonding them together. All right, so we're one eye in and the lashes look great. So starting off on the second eye, I always have something go wrong. <laughs> so as you can see, I accidentally put them, I accidentally put the lashes a little too low and they were on my waterline. So here I'm literally just trying to scrape the glue off because like I said before, we, we want to get the waterline very clean, if not perfect without any glue, that's the goal. But yeah, as you can see on the, sec the second lash I applied on my second eye, again, I accidentally put more glue than I needed, but we are finishing strong and I'm putting the last lash on here. And I wanted to show you guys how clear you want your waterline. Like, yes, I do have some smudges on my waterline. They will go away within a couple of minutes. Um, and two, the, the glue is still tacky. So as, so as you could see, I had a tiny gap and I just got my tweezers and I literally just pushed the lashes over and they worked fine. Okay, so now I'm just bonding them and then I use my spoolie or my clean mascara wand and I just fan everything out, kind of blend everything together. Sometimes there's some glue stuck in my lashes, so I like to fan and brush that out. Um, and then of course I like to lift them again. I'll share with you my lash care instructions first, and then I'll give you some like tips and tricks to help retain your lashes for longer. Some lash care instructions. You must still wash your face or your like eye area daily. So whenever you're washing your face, you want to avoid like just simply rubbing your eyes. What I like to do, and this is like in the shower and out of the shower. Get my face wash and I put it on a little a little towel and I wash my face all the way around um, and I you know I do this so like on my eye area I go right underneath here I go here around my eyebrows uh, on my forehead around my other eyebrow and I just like this is the most I do right I'll cup the water in my hands just like this and just like splash it on my face like so um, it's okay if the water runs down like runs over your lashes you just don't want like direct water like splashing on your lash and then when I'm done with that I literally put my finger in the towel and I close my eyes and I do this I go right on my eyelids and I just go like this um, and then afterwards I just put water on my hands and I go like this with water you know on my fingers and I rinse off and I rinse my water and I rinse my hands um, and I do this again maybe like three times um, just to just to get all the oils off. Whenever you um, get out of the shower or whenever you're done washing your face, you obviously want to pat to dry um, your lashes. Um, I'll pat under here and whenever I'm closing my eyes, I'll pat up here to dry these off and I'll just do that. When I get out of the shower, I do like to do, um, I like to bond, I guess, I don't know. I like to squeeze the tweezers and bond my eyelashes over um, just to make sure that they're kind of, uh, you know, just reinforced. Comb through them and make sure everything is nice and separated how I would want them to be and how I'd want them to dry. Okay, so moving on to tips and tricks. So these are just some things that I've learned and that work for me, may not work for everybody. This may be a hard like tip for some people, but try not to sleep on your face. <laughs> I know that's hard and it may like seem weird, but, um, before I had lashes on, I love sleeping on my face because I wasn't able to whenever I was pregnant. So I like to do it when I'm not pregnant, right? And I've learned to sleep on this side, but like whenever you have longer lashes, like I have, I believe I have 16s uh, on the ends, 14s in the middle, and then 12s in the inner sides and the insides. Um, but even sleeping on your side, sometimes you roll and you can still hit those lashes on your pillow or whatever. Um, and they'll fall off really easily. Another tip would be to use your applicator tool or your tweezers, just like whenever you remember. I would say like the most important times of the day would be like right before you go to bed, right out of the shower, or whenever you wake up. 
So try to do those. It doesn't have to be like a routine thing, like always do them throughout the day. Just whenever you think about it or you kind of feel a loose one, you know, just you just want to reinforce it. And even sometimes like if my hands are clean, I'll just use my fingers. This last tip I haven't used for myself, but I would highly recommend to do this if you can. Um, it would be to consider a sealant. Some people call it a bond, but it's not the glue. It's just, it's an extra step where it removes the stickiness and tackiness of the glue. Those are the tips I have. Super simple, right? It'll become much easier once you get it down. Um, so I did want to mention too, real time doing my lashes, it took me 20 minutes. And that is me like putting my face in the lit, putting my face in the camera and trying to look at the screen while doing it. I'm not like one of those girls who's at the gym applying their lashes on the treadmill. I don't know how they get that done. I could never, and I still have a steady hand, but I don't think I could ever do that. I also wanted to share some removal tips in case you guys are like, how do I remove my lashes? The best, easiest times to ever take your lashes off is after a shower, not in the shower. Um, you can use some makeup remover, the blue lid, which is like an oil-based makeup remover. That works well for me. I'll, I'll soak a cotton round in it, wait for a minute, and then you want to pull at the base of the lash and take them off that way, gently, slowly, so uh, you don't want to ruin your lashes. Obviously. All right guys, so that'll be it for today. I hope you guys got something from this video. If it was all over the place, I'm sorry. My kids are here with me. They're kind of distracting too. But um, yes, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. Um, thanks for hanging out with me today. I will see you in the next video. Bye.